Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to analyze Likert scale using the parametric one sample t-test and the non-parametric Wilcoxon signed rank test and that is one sample okay so I'm going to show you just explain to you some some stuff before actually running the analysis so I have uh, some uh, I have Likert scale that consists of 17 items it is a five point Likert scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree and we need to uh, compute the mean score of all these or those items so that we can reduce them or combine them into one variable and this can be done using the compute uh, function and the mean score function and i'm going to leave a link to to a video on how to do that in the description box or in the comment section so please check them below so this is i have already computed the mean score so i have reduced all these variables or items into one variable so now we can go and run the uh, one sample t-test so the way we do it we go to analyze and then compare means and then go to one sample t test check it and then uh, just because i have already done it i will redo it just for you so i will move the variable of interest to the test variables and here in the test value so the mean score is going to range from one to five so let's pick let's expect that the respondents uh, strongly let's say uh, agree so we can keep it at four point Five, something like this okay so now for the options I can just leave it like this click continue and click OK so here is the output so as you can see here this is the end that is the number of the respondents the mean score of the beliefs about homework this is the variable of interest that is 3.3 more or less respondents uh, agree with this and here we have the sig two tail this means that uh, there is statistically significant difference between the, the the mean score of the respondents and the hypothesized mean score okay so as you can see that 3.3 is lower than uh, 4.5 so not all respondents strongly agree with this so this is how we go about interpreting the output of the uh, one sample t-test that is the parametric one sample t-test so i can just copy these uh, or these tables and paste them into word so anyway so let's go and do the non-parametric one sample t-test that is Wilcoxon signed rank test. So let's go to analyze and again to non parametric tests and one sample. Uh, so in this test field, so I'm going to uh, check all items. Let's say by clicking Control A and move them to the fields, and so that I can keep the test fields empty. I need to move the variable of interest to the test fields and go to settings. I can choose test options. I can keep it at 0 0.05. Uh, choose tests. I can choose customize tests and uh, check compare median to hypothesized work extent signed rank test. So this is the most important option. Again, let's enter the hypothesized median. Let's keep it at 4 again. 4.5 sometimes you need to put comma but in my case I I am I should just put a dot uh, anyway so I'm just going to click run and wait for the output so as you can see here here is the output so the sig value is uh, below 0 0.05 therefore there is statistically significant between significant difference between the actual median and the hypothesized median and the observed median as you can see this is the observed median the actual data and this is what we expected but there is strong a statistically significant difference between the two this means that the, the sample does not meet our expectations so we can just take these two uh this this table and this figure 
and paste them into Microsoft Office Word and interpret the result. So this is how we go about doing the one sample t-test and the uh, Wilcoxon signed, signed rank one sample t-test on Likert scale data. And uh, you will find some resources in the description box and in the comment section. If you have questions or remarks, uh, you can contact me via one of my social media. Uh, and see you till then in another tutorial. Bye for now.